Oh, okay, okay, that was weird. Um, sorry about that. My my OBS was being a little bit odd. All right, we're gonna be doing a VOD review for Chris, the Wolf player. Um, let's get straight into it. Okay, so right here, literally right off the bat, you don't have to shield here. Right here, you throw out a hitbox and challenges Ariel. Because every Yoshi is going to press A here or air dodge. So what I do here is I up air here. If they if they nair, it'll beat it. If they air dodge, I have enough time after the up air to cover it. If they jump away, it'll either hit their jump or they'll just jump away and you have to juggle them. So it covers multiple... It covers, covers everything in up air here in this situation. Because by the time they're out of hit stun, your move is going to be coming out. And it'll beat... Uh, his nair, or at worst, trade, which is fine in this situation. The trade isn't going to send you very far because you're at zero, and you, you're still in a position to juggle him. Yeah. Okay. A little bit too slow on the up throw up air, but that's no big deal. Just a little execution thing. Easy to fix. So drifting in in this situation, I wouldn't recommend using back air, especially at this percent, but either way, um, bear, it, comes, it takes a while to come out. And your hurt box is really easy to hit during it. I recommend if you want to drift in to Yoshi or land next to Yoshi here, either you want to space bear really well by drifting out and get the very tip of the foot, or if you're going to drift in like you did here, you either nair or you forward air. I recommend nairing. Nairing is huge, it's insanely, it moves insane. Yeah, it'll, it'll beat or trade with most things because back air is a lot easier to stuff out for Yoshi in that situation. Okay. Yeah, good grab. Excellent. So that that should combo at this percent. You just need to you just need to do it quicker. Quick, just practice it. No big deal. Just a small Lex huge thing. Excellent spacing on that back air right here to beat up to beat out his down air. Yeah, really good stuff. Perfect, perfectly spaced. I should do this actually, because up air is really it's really hard to beat down air with up air. So I That's really big. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm stealing that. You taught me something. Ooh, yeah, watch the landings. So here he punished you for landing into him twice. You try to drift into him with a button and both times he's able to punish you for it. He could have done it again if he dashed forward for that up smash. If he read the uh, nair. Oof. Okay, I like the patience at ledge. All right, he covered you. Go, go low. Wait for the egg. Okay. Use your air drift to get out of the situation. That's a good punish from the Yoshi. Nice, very patient. I love the patience. I love the patience. Because earlier you were like, you were pressing buttons right away when you were landing. You were either immediately fast falling, you're immediately double jump fast falling or aerialing. But I like this. You you were very patient here. You reacted to what, to what he was trying to do. This is textbook wolf and what, what a lot of wolves don't understand with him. Is you have to be, you have all the air drift. You have the air drift and fall speed and hitboxes to take your time when you're landing. And that's exactly what you did here. And I love it. And then you then you spaced back here. This was such a well-spaced bear because it's very, very hard for him to challenge this unless he like calls you out before you throw it out. Yeah, excellent spacing at the very tip of back air. Even if he presses a button here, the bear will beat it. Really good stuff. I love the patience on the landing. I love the reactive play there. Oof, that time. So I think in this spot, I wouldn't try to bear him here. I would try to land, because if you can land before him, because he committed a little bit too hard after that up tilt. Right here, land before he does. You can, this is where you, because look, look at the range you're at. If you keep, you, you drifted, so here's my mouse. You drifted inwards and tried to bear. If you just keep drifting down and out, you can land before him and cover his landing, or at the very least, uh, land safely and be able to pressure him. Um, like if you can't punish his landing, you can pressure it. What? That was so weird. What the fuck was that? Look, he didn't move at all. This game is so weird. I guess sometimes you really just have to be aware of how close you are to them. Yeah, this game is... That, that's a little bit... I... Eh. Now, I usually... You never ever blame the game. Ever. But shit like this just happens sometimes. <laughs> uh, you have to be a little bit... Like, you have to make sure you're really close to them. That's really odd. You had the right idea with this, uh, with this grab. Because you tried to catch his landing here. I'm very surprised this missed. I think it's because you were too, a little bit too slow. You might have been a li you it, you were you, you you wanted to grab his head and then you were slightly too slow so he like reeled back, but it still looks really wonky. And then he didn't even that's so weird. Anyway, anyway, you had the right idea there. All, you should be doing stuff like that. Just sometimes weird weird interactions happen with hurtbox shifting. 
that's really difficult to calculate when it will and won't. And the best way to really make sure it doesn't happen is to just be as close to them as possible <laughs> and be as quick as possible. So right here, on reaction, you roll or spot dodge here. I'd recommend, since you're at this percent, I'd, prob I'd usually spot dodge this. Um, so you can punish it. If you're too scared to go for a spot dodge punish, just roll. Though I'm sure you already know this. Like, this is just uh, obvious. But you're, you're probably, like, in bracket. You're nervous. You know, you didn't react in time because, you know, it's bracket. So your head's, like, spinning. I get it. It happens. Can you parry that? You can, but I wouldn't recommend it. Spot dodging is a lot easier. Okay. Oof. Mixed up by the egg. So I think I, I, I would have up aired here. Let me see. Thank you, Vivala. You can, so instead of immediately up smashing you, you can kind of react to him drifting upwards and jump out of shield back air, jump out of shield up air. A little bit more difficult to do. I don't blame you for this up smash either because, you know, it, it kind of just sucks people in. But he spaced it well. Ooh. Watch the buttons. Okay, here you weren't paying attention to how you were landing. This tells me that you're just pressing buttons now. Or you might have just mistimed it. This could have been a good idea. Hold on, hold on. No, I might, I'm taking that back. Hold on. Eh, I agree with this. I agree with this. I, you just fast fell it too late. You fast fell it too late. Or not too late. You fast fell it too early. Okay. This, no, I agree with that. That, that should have worked. You just mistimed it. Excuse me. Yeah, a little bit too slow on the whiff punish, but you did have the right idea. You just need to recognize when the whiff punish won't work. If, if, if you're going to be too slow, like the distance you're at. Which, and that one is really hard because it was really close. Ah, yeah. Bad landing. Now, now you're in, uh, like a, a, like a, now you've switched into, I really want to hit him mode. I'm desperate for the stock, stock mode. So you just start like drifting into him with very ill-advised stuff like that. In positions like this, you really want to keep your patience and play consistent and defensive while like, and while still like pushing your advantage and like going for, you really need to pick your spots. That's the, you have to pick your spots. Well, like here in this spot where you landed to land in the damn here, imagine like, you're probably thinking, okay, it's risky to land here, but if I hit him, he dies. And then you, like, die for it. And then, and then you think, okay, if I had just landed safely, reset neutral, um, I'd still have my stock. <laughs> and I'd be able to, because you're, you're, he's at 160, you can just throw him at legend and get a ledge trap. Always have faith in, like, always have faith, faith in the neutral, I guess. You don't always have to try to, like, win every, every interaction you're in. You don't have to try to hit him on your way down. Be a little bit more reactive at a shield. Like in that spot, you could have forward aired him at a shield. You could have done short hop, drift forward air. Um, right here. Short hop, drift forward air into, into like multiple things. Instead of, oh, he hit my shield, time to up smash. Because Yoshi's air drift is quick enough for him to, to avoid uh, the up smash at a shield if he's controlling it well. You kind of have to react whether or not he's in the space. He's in the space to, uh, to get hit by it. I like the landing. You didn't drift into him. drift directly into him that time. You, you landed slightly outside of his space, which is good. Good reaction with the get up attack to beat the uh, the down B. Okay, a little bit too slow on the punish here. He just jabbed you out of it. That's just a little bit too slow. Now you're panicking a little bit. Oh my god, that was so fucking risky. I was waiting for him to just up air you here. That's actually crazy. Okay, but it worked out. I'm glad. Okay, good. So in this spot, especially when you're at a percent like this, instead of instead of dashing in and trying to directly punish that, imagine if you stop right here in your place. Stop like here. Stop like here. Hold on. Around here and wait for him to down air and drift into you. Because that's he, he's just gonna drown and drift in. You wait for him to do it, and then you either you can you can down smash it, you can grab him, you can F tilt him, you could you could dash attack him, you could do whatever you want, you can whiff punish him here in that situation. Be a little bit more patient. When your percent's all the way up right here, you really can't risk a trade. And a trade, especially with back air, a slow starting move like that is very uh, likely to happen in that scenario. So just understand the risk reward of what you're going for. When it's proper to go for a whiff, uh, patient whiff punish and when it's proper to go for like a really big like uh, 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 challenge of a move. Notice, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess that's the best way I can put it. Notice when it's better to challenge the move directly and notice when it's better to, um, to just sit back and try to whiff punish it. And if you don't know when that is, um, 
keep it like recognize you have really big hitboxes, right? So you can challenge most moves pretty easily. But there's moves like Yoshi's Dare that are very wonky and difficult to challenge unless you space very well. If you have very little time to get your spacing right, especially if you're at a high percent where losing the trade could mean being off stage or in the air, I'd recommend just standing and going for the whiff punish instead. Wanna run some 1v1s? Not today. Sorry, I'm also streaming this. Uh, so if you can watch this on my Twitch as well. And yeah, here you just drifted into him with a bad nair. Really high nair, easy for Yoshi to punish because he has a frame six nair out of shield. Yeah, it happens. It happens. 